Recruiting in haste is a major mistake small business owners make instead of following the right steps. Welcome to Five Talents Africa. My name is Mildred Okoth and our topic is on four mistakes made by small business owners when recruiting. As you bring in a new person into the organization, several things must be done and this should not be done in a hurry. If I may ask you, how many people have your house keys or are allowed to walk in without seeking permission? Remember, once this person becomes an employee, they will not need permission to gain entry. In most cases, if you are hiring externally, the new hire is a stranger. Due diligence must be conducted through the right recruitment procedures to acquire this new talent. You may not have enough time, but internal teams can always hold together for a few days as you get this right, instead of fast tracking and getting the wrong successor. That is why teamwork is critical in any organization. If you're joining us for the first time, please remember to subscribe below and join this wonderful community of thriving employers and employees. The second mistake is promoting an employee internally to fill the vacant position simply because they perform well in their current job. The two jobs may necessarily not be related. An individual may be good at their work, but may not be ready to perform well in another role within the organization. They should be interested in the position, have relevant qualifications and skills. If this is not the case, the learning curve may be steep for this person and poor judgment should not be used for replacements. Succession planning requires an individual to be developed over time so as to reach a specific threshold of competence. If there has not been a plan to identify, train and pilot individuals in certain positions, then selecting an employee who has not been tested may not be the ideal route to follow. This is another mistake and the employee selected may be frustrated in the new position and feel that they've been set up for failure. Please share below how you fill the positions in your organization. The two previous cases may lead to unplanned orientation or onboarding. This means that the new hire joins the organization and immediately starts working without getting to know the basics in terms of organization policies, values, and history. This can even happen within a few days of the position falling vacant, depending on how the new hire has been identified. This person may initially be excited to have got a new job. However, before they even settle in, they may start having doubts based on the organization culture, values, and unmet personal expectations. The demands of the role may not allow them to learn or interact with colleagues in a meaningful manner. This may limit their opportunities to ask critical questions that may ground them in the job. As a result of this poor experience, the new hire's expectations may start to wane and leave as fast as they got in should another employer come knocking. Please share below your best onboarding experience. The fourth mistake is not conducting exit interviews. When an employee walks out on a company without giving a resignation letter or serve the notice period, they often destabilize an organization temporarily. This means that no interaction takes place between the employer and the employee, and suddenly there's a vacant position to be filled. Hiring for this position will certainly happen. However, not having appropriate information why the employee left may affect the new hire. This is because we have different personalities. Some people walk away without discussing issues, while others prefer to discuss and resolve them. If the previous problems are not resolved, the new hire will encounter them and the problem will persist. This brings us to the end of our tutorial today. If you've learned something, please subscribe below and share a comment. For more inquiries, you can send us an email using the address in the description box and we shall get back to you. Thank you for watching.